Situated 1400 light years away from Earth, Kepler 452b, also known as Earth 2.0, orbits a sun like star named Kepler 452. The planet is a rocky super Earth. It is five times heavier than Earth and orbits around its parent star in the habitable zone. Kepler 452b is one of the most potential exoplanet candidates capable of supporting life. In fact, scientists have already started scanning radio transmissions coming from Kepler 452b. Traveling to Kepler 452b using present technology is impossible. It would take almost 26 million years for us to get there at the speed of the New Horizons spacecraft. Kepler 452b might look similar to Earth in many aspects, except it would be very huge in size. It still hasn't been confirmed whether Kepler 452b has a thick atmosphere or liquid oceans on its surface. Kepler 452b might have many active volcanoes owing to its higher mass and density. This would also make the planet surrounded by thick and misty clouds, covering much of its surface as seen from Earth. The planet takes around 385 days to orbit its star, which is very close to the time taken by Earth to complete one revolution around the Sun. Kepler 452b has a radius 50% bigger than Earth's. Since the planet receives 10% more sunlight from its parent star than Earth, it's a bit warmer. The planet is also not tidally locked with its parent star. These features made Kepler 452b very similar to Earth, which is why astronomers named it Earth 2.0. Since the parent star of Kepler 452b is 1.4 billion years older than Earth, there is a chance that Kepler 452b might have lost its atmosphere due to increased energy output coming from its parent star. However, since the planet is much more massive than Earth, the planet's gravity might hold the atmosphere for much longer time as compared to the Earth. Walking on the planet would become difficult due to the increased gravity. What we know about the planet is very less, but with whatever data we have, we can conclude that the planet is a promising candidate for supporting life, and this is where humans should go first if our planet becomes unsuitable for living.